Hello everyone, good evening uh, from Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank you so much for joining me on Solomon's Temple. My name is Solomon Isanga Shams and they call me Uncle Solomon. It's great to be with you uh, and I hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, tonight I'm going to be talking about the long-awaited uh, issue of how Johnson Suleiman now, I'm going to always say Johnson Suleiman. Do not expect me to call him Apostle Johnson Suleiman because he's not worthy to be called an apostle. How Johnson Suleiman uh, bribed, paid, gave Pastor Mike David 60,000 US dollars. Now, if you're Nigerian, you multiply that by what? 400 and something, isn't it? Uh, if you're South African, you multiply multiply that by 15, 60,000 US dollars. I actually thought it was 50, but it's 60. I'm going to play you an exclusive audio, my conversation with Mike Davids. Here is the, the audio. I want you to listen and uh, understand that and uh, make up your mind. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Good morning. Seems like you just woke up from sleep. Hello? Yeah, did you just wake up from sleep? No, not quite. That was in my study. Okay. How are you? My stories. My stories. Good. You said you were going to make a video yesterday. Yeah, between that yesterday to now, I've been having um, some kind of uh, serious frictions with my family. They don't want you, you know? to make the video to clear your name? Or they are trying to... The position they are, they, are, they are standing on is that the video that went out is not about retraction. Are you with me? Yes. That the, that the video... That there are two videos that they saw. Okay. That the first one, that the first one was very clear that um, uh, what do you call it? That um, I was on a spiritual sojourn and I had directions from the Lord. And uh, secondly, because of well-meaning Nigerians and church leaders who intervened, that uh, I was willing to give peace a chance and all of that. But as far as they are concerned. It's, um, it's, and that I also talked about amicable resolution. And that as far as they are concerned, that even as Christians, no matter the disagreement, we must come to terms of resolution. And that they don't see how that video affects me in any way. That people, of course, will uh, have their opinions on the issue. And that secondly, it is clear from all indications in those videos that I was under duress to do those videos. I didn't do it on my own free will. But people don't, as know, as people don't know that. Mm. I mean, I understand you have to work with family. First, mm. you said you were adopted, abducted in Abuja, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Did you tell them exactly what happened? They are aware. So you, how did you tell them? How did you tell them? In summary, how did you tell them what happened? No, I told them that everything that happened now, how I was, you know, compelled, you know, using force and all of that to do that video. They said they understand that what they are saying is not, you know, whether or not I was compelled. That even from the videos, everybody can see that clearly. You get my point? So did that you, something is not right. Did you? That what they are saying is that. I should just let the issue rest and move on with my life. Since he was even willing in the first place to consider terms of a resolution and all of that, that I should let it go. But, the, you, but Mike, like do that. you want to stand for the truth? Do you think that is the right thing to do? If you want to stand for the that truth, is the right thing to, that is the right thing to do. So you but were, you were, but, but look I at it. To do. You were adopted. You, to, you told me you were adopted in Abuja. Car just came and you were arrested and you were taken to a hidden place i ask you if you were beaten or you were you know that anything was done to you physically no but then they made a video now you made a video for them apologizing for the way you handle things yes i understood you didn't apologize for uh what you said i understand that and then after making a video for them you told me 
they now give you they now give you fifty thousand dollars now where is the fifty thousand sixty thousand dollars right yes where is the money now again the money is not with you at the time where's the money now? America, and i've told them to return the money you know so they are still dragging because what they are trying to do is that um number one the money that was given to me was not for the issue that i raised it was basically for what do you call it um for the 16 years of my service to the ministry and you get what i'm saying i told uh, them that i don't need the money because when i came out because my lawyer told them that from the outset of this issue money was never the intentions are you getting what i'm saying yes money was money was never my intention i didn't ask them for money for no money all i came out for was for my family to be returned to me so now and your family was not now, returned to you as, and money was given no, to you. no 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 listen you know as for my wife is my wife she has clearly stood her ground are you with me she has clearly stood her ground that she does not want the marriage anymore as we speak i get you so you, you see that the most difficult part is the most difficult part now is you were given money right mm -hmm. and there was i was told that you were given money even before you told me you were given money right mm -hmm. i was told you were given money and promised the canadian passport even before you told me you were giving money so the fact that no. you were giving money i didn't hear it from you for the first time i had it from another oh, source yeah. for the first time now there's this guy dalenton who's been coming to me yeah. trying to pretend talking to you and then coming to me who is the chief negotiator mm -hmm. who you told me was the guy that led, that led the ad abduction you right and he sent me a message telling me that you are the one actually who invited him to abuja to help broker the deal to help bring peace and bring reconciliation so now i'm confused you were telling me he was the guy that came and abducted you on part of the team and gave you sixty thousand dollars and now you are telling me and now he's telling me no he wasn't part of that he, he didn't know anything about that abduction are uh, you are the one he even i have a, a message that was between the two of you he said he was going to canada but then he had to he had to wait and postpone because you wanted him to come to abuja hold on hold on it's i'm coming to get the spider hold on you know so now the whole thing for me is confusing mike you have to remember if you didn't put this out you wouldn't have gotten the support and the response from them so because you put it out you made videos you came to platforms like mine other people believed in your story and now it went out that was why you received this support and at least there is some sort of uh, whatever sort of uh, reconciliation you have between them people deserve to know what happened your family cannot tell you your family was not there your family was not the one that advised you to put things out they were not there when people were on social media people were putting pressure and talking about omega fire and suleiman that was why they had to cool down so now you are telling me that you don't want to to talk to people you don't want to re re respond to people because of your family because peace was reconciled to, to be honest with you i don't buy story that, that story and i would not agree with that story and now it would be difficult for me to even agree with the fact that you they gave you sixty thousand and dollars and then you gave it to your uh, attorney and you want to return the, the money how are we going to know that you return the money when, if you did return the money how are we going to know that you're not going to keep the money how are we not going to believe the upside of the story where you're saying you were doing it for money in the first place because you were broke and everything how are we not going to believe that you see the complication and what is truth truth people deserve to know whether your family has another opinion you have to tell them you have to respect my opinion because if you, your reputation is finished if you say something or if it is if you don't say something you know and the fact that going into the future before god there's nothing like truth there what your family is telling you to do for me and i would speak for many others that's not the right way to handle it that's incomplete yes if you guys reconcile fine but you need to tell people the truth 
because what we're going to see now from you is you're just going to keep quiet forever you're not going to talk about it we've seen a lot of other cases like that i've seen a lot of other cases people that will come to me and use my platform to 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 to, to create awareness and to put pressure on whoever and they will get paid and they keep quiet and they will never talk they will keep saying ah well but this ah well but this brother this was not about you now you're making it just about you alone if it was just about you you wouldn't have put this thing out there for everybody to see Correct. and to know you know what i'm looking at right before you send me this message i was just about to go for a meeting what i'm what i'm looking at doing is um um what you have what we have said now is more like a, a counsel or what you feel about the matter or what you feel is best to do all right so what i'm looking at is probably to grant an interview through your platform are you getting what i'm saying I'm Are you listen, what I'm, I'm saying? I'm listening to you, yes. So to grab an interview through a platform to let the world know what eventually happened about the resolution. All right? So when I'm, when I'm finished with my meeting, I'll give you a call back and I'll let you know how to do it further. Well, when, when do you intend to let people know? No, as, as soon as possible. It's not something I intend to delay now. It has to be like urgent now people are asking questions people are even getting tired you know we know we told you solomon mike is one of those guys he just used you he just came out because he needed money now he's now you were telling me he's been paid sixty thousand dollars how are you even going to make sure you you give proof to people that you return that money right suleiman is not going to come out and say he gave you money mm -hmm. no it's not a problem you know i told you I have there's a lot of complication here mike and if you are in ministry and if you're not transparent and honest and accountable forget about ministry go look for another job no definitely it's not a problem when i finish i will give you a call back then we know what to do all right hello okay Okay, I will hear from you then. I will give you a call. Please, let's do this as soon as possible. Whether it's my platform or not my platform, for me, people need to know, you didn't just come to me as somebody who is a YouTuber and a Christian journalist. No, you came to me as a brother. You came to me as another, you know, a uh, 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 counsel. You came to me as somebody who you believe is going to be objective. And I'm trying to be as objective as possible. When I shared your story, I tried to be as objective as possible. Now is your chance to, to tell people the truth. You need to be as objective as possible. If not, no. you know, if we don't do this in the next 24 hours or whatever, to be honest with you, I'm done with this. And I'll just, I'm just going to fold my arms and I'm just going to, and I'm going to believe the first thing I was told. Mike negotiated. He was paid sixty thousand dollars to release that video, and that was the end of it. As simple as that. That's going. That's just going to be what I'm going to believe because there's no any other thing I'm going to believe. There's no need to believe that. I will revert to you. I'll wait and hear from you then. All right. Thanks.